Hey guys, sorry for the late start. I was busy filling up my water bottles and doing this and that. But uh, uh, I'm here now, so let's go ahead and check out the new before uh, spring campaign. So let's pop right in. As you can see, uh, I'm in my guild, but that's not the important part. We're gonna go check out the new features first before we actually do a bit of grinding today. Hey, so as you can see with the new user uh, interface, uh, we can set uh, ARs for background. That's not all. We can choose between three randomly chosen settings here. Uh, for me, I chose the prettiest looking art because, you know, I'm a bit of an art fiend or art appreciator. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and see if I... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Back out! Back out! Back out! Back out! Ugh. Oh, my god. Clumsy me. Give me a second. I pressed the wrong button and now it's showing a different. Uh, okay, there you go. Don't press the question mark. That just shows you how to do it. Um, Alright, tweet looks fine. Just let me know if the sound is fine. Um, because, yeah, I don't know how this is going to turn out for. Since I haven't done a grind stream in a while. But yeah, uh, let's see those settings. We can see that if you choose between these different things, it'll just randomly pick whatever map you have. Um, that one failed to load, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, so the buttons have been rearranged, but for most, the game is the same. It's This will require an extra press to get to the map now. You do need to press in quests. You can review your uh, resources by clicking or rather holding uh, your finger on the resources button. You can see some rank information by holding your portrait, and you can see some details on the DP if you hold that. Uh, presence, friends, and missions have been moved to the left. You can expand this to see the banner options, although now you can just click the current event to click up there. What even is in the current event option? There's like nothing I'm showing right now. Um, but yeah, so home settings is the only new thing really. My guild's been moved up here along with the login bonus and options. Uh, the login bonus... Loading. <laughs> Uh, so the login bonus is not supposed to look like this, but what's neat about it is that it is no longer a login streak. You can miss some days and it will continue your login uh, tally, and uh, then it will reset after you reach a tally of a set. That's very cool. And uh, yes. drawing talk to us from the grave. <laughs> if we select current event, I don't know what is even in here. It's like there's nothing, so I don't know why that there's a shortcut there. But uh, as you all know, it is a half stamina period campaign, and uh, we will be farming for seeds today. So uh, we are going to be farming for seeds, uh, attack seeds specifically, in this quest. However, a lot of you may be farming for blossoms in the meantime instead. But keep in mind, uh, it'll take quite a while either way, so maybe you can farm with me while we're doing this together. Right, before we do that, we also received a new banner. Um, what's it called? There's going to be this banner as well as an additional banner next week. This one's only lasting seven days, so they're mutually exclusive from each other. Uh, these guys have received some evos. Specifically, we received an evo for Nobuharu as well as Ryota, uh, his festival variant versus the Clash of Flips variant. Uh, and uh, I have sources. <laughs> uh, we're also going to be receiving some evolutions specifically for. Kuniyoshi as well as um, Matsumara. So essentially the new characters Beipunyan as well as uh, uh, Yamasachi Iko will not be receiving evos. Uh, in the next batch, I don't know who's going to receive evos for that, but uh, that will be coming out next week, so that's not here nor there for now. Um, will I be pulling for this? I have most of these units already, and the only one I don't have that sort of want is Kuniyoshi, but like not even then. <laughs> so... Uh, let's just go ahead and check out the quests that drop for evolutions. As I said, Nobuharu as well as Trio to receive one. Um, so I haven't really pulled a team for this, but it's their best. Might as well maximize on resources while we're here. It does not boost coin, so uh, I guess we'll bring Shalal instead for the rank XP boost, since there is no coin reward for doing this. Kill evolution quests. Shlottle. There he is. We are going to select my Evo team 
and not falling for the winner of the tier list. <laughs> uh, well, you know, she is definitely a thing. I might pull for him if his Evo turns out to be good. I got a Google Translate uh, idea of how he's supposed to play, but it didn't look that impressive just from that. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, we will be doing the evolution for, I believe it's Ryota's right now, so let's go ahead and check that out. Um, yeah. The Ryota will be very helpful here as I just use Oz to blow everything up. <laughs> let's do this. Uh, actually, I do have Summoner's Boost, might as well activate it. So, the effects don't skip during uh, skill specific evolution quests, so we have to see all this slow ass shit, which is impractical for farming normally. Uh, there's no special effects for any of these though, so who cares? Uh, Ryota does not start with crit, so we're not gonna bother <laughs> with that, but uh, we are gonna go ahead and. Pause. <laughs> Cool beans. <laughs> yeah, um, skill evolution quests are rarely as good as crisis quests, and crisis quests aren't very good either, so what are you supposed to expect? We're also going to do it for Nobuharu, whose thing I didn't look at, but we're not going to change teammates either way. So let's go ahead and bring Shalottle again. Uh, why Shalottle? Because he can bring a rank XP booster, and I think he's probably one of the better ones that can, uh, other than Envry himself. Uh, yeah, let's just toss in. Who is this? Nobuharu, Snipe Range, Wood, I believe. There he is. Most unnecessary filters. Two phases. Oh, aren't you bold? It's pretty sad. I'm surprised to see two phases from a quest nowadays. <laughs> I wonder if he has his uh, Guts before Big Kid thing. That would be annoying for Tiger Tower, to be honest. Yeah, we're good. Uhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
Uh, we're starting with a, a like 15 million, almost 16 million coin, and uh, we are starting with 94 majors, 20 minors, and 44 drinks. I believe the pattern I was going to do was use either three drinks or seven majors, depending on the thing. Let's go ahead and check out. I got all the four stars. I noticed you got a Bay Bunnings variant, but no five stars so far. Hmm. All banner rate of four stars, that is. Hey, congrats. Uh, right, I didn't actually get my thoughts on the banner. I guess I can quickly do that since the rest of the stream's not going to be too interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for this banner, uh, what do I think about these units post Evo? Well, I can't, I'm not going to talk about Kuniyoshi or Matsumar because you're going to receive an Evo later. Uh, I just don't know the details of them. Um, but yeah, Bay Bunnings good. He's probably, no, he's definitely. Uh, the best four-star column clear in the game, to my memory, I'm pretty sure. Um, everyone else is kind of like, does a mixed support deal, or, you know, the better ones are five stars. Uh, Babylonian has a bit of unreliability and is kind of needs to stay in place, but for a four-star, he actually does like a good amount more damage than everyone else at around 26 damage. Uh, 26,000 damage per square. So, he, uh, he might be a good pick from this banner. Uh, Yamato Chihiko, I kind of forgot his kit, I only briefly looked at it last night. It was just a bunch of supportive stuff, kind of like uh, Kima, um, and also offers some resistances to Charm and Fear. He might be good for like countering Charm and Fear, but I don't really think he's worth it for the rest of his kit, which is just sort of strange support with Ardor and like weakness or something, I don't even know. And uh, Nobuharu might be pr interesting to play with in challenges because he now has a variety of effects more increased damage amp and extend movement and a bit of defense. I don't know if I uh, it's worth it, but it's definitely an option if you don't if you're uh, few in options. And uh, Fassel Ryota now has an improved defense amp, which you know was a bit necessary because he actually amplified the, his enemy's damage on move, which was not good. And he that kind of stacks with his other defenses for unction and protection. So uh, he's a bit like Tindalos now. That's like a very very generous comparison. Uh, Summer Tinlos, that is. Summer Tinlos, as you know, does massive uh, damage mitigation um, between protection and tenacity and uh, buff reversal. Uh, buff reversal being probably the most massive one with a four times reduction of damage. Uh, Ryota's getting there, kind of, but not quite, between his unction and protection and uh, now nourishment weakening, uh, which he inflicts. Although nourishment weakening mostly just cancels out the damage amp from nourishment. And, uh, the unction's not reliable, so... <laughs> but he can heal, which is something, uh, Penelos can do, so... It's, it's there, I guess. I don't think he's very good, but at least he has a bit more damage as well now with his crit. And he does have the actual ability to, you know, defend his entire team, even in large maps, now with his extended movement, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, sh well, should he pull on this banner? Ah, uh, my first impression, it, uh, or my gut feeling rather, says probably not. Uh, Big Bunnion's probably the best one, and there's like a million other comic players in this one game, so. <laughs> um, but, you know, can't really fully say until uh, we see the evolutions for Kuniyoshi and Amatsumara drop. Uh, I'm not gonna be going for this. But yeah, hello, Huin Chen. And hello, Jong, and Boogeyman, always good to see you. Uh, we are going to. I'm just like trying to mentally break of uh, how to navigate to this. Look through my present list, it's just the login bonus plus the maintenance stones, nothing special for this campaign. And uh, missions, friends, what am I looking for? I'm getting like, you know, there's like a syndrome when you enter a room and then you forget what you're gonna do. That's what it feels like right now with this completely new layout. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, farm for seeds now. Hey, can I add you to uh, your friend list? Uh, sure, if you log in every day, because, you know, it's not too difficult to get in my friend list. I just need to be familiar with you, and you need to play every day. <laughs> so, um, I currently have a... what's it called? What's... Oh, you can find me on the Discord server, but I do have a free space in my friend list, because I just removed someone recently. So, uh, just talk to me on a Discord server, and... Yeah, I can add you, but I'll probably drop you if you stop playing, so just letting you know. Do I really not have any stamina? Did I farm before I played? 
That's weird. Where's my stamina cap? Oh my god, I'm looking in the wrong place. <laughs> uh, stamina is 23. Yeah, I really didn't have any, I guess. And we will be farming with our seed and coin booster, Anvari. And we will be using this team over here for both our rank and coin bonus. Let's do this. So we're starting our farm at 3.18. I, uh, so I'll probably stop three hours from now. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't do the approximation of how long we farming this time. We're engaging gameplay. But yeah, I uh, look forward to my review on the banner. Not immediately. I would normally work on it instantly, and I, in fact, do have some things already prepared for it in advance. But because I know that Amatsumara and Kuniyoshi are receiving evolutions, but I don't know what those evos are, um, I'm not going to be releasing a review of the banner until they actually receive their evos. これから離れ引きずり引いた引きずり引いた引きずり引いた引きずり引いた引きずり引いた引きずり引いた引きずり引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引いた引
whoever this Japanese Andrari is, is a very lucky duck to have me farming in. There will be no more trumpet <laughs> intros. Cease. <laughs> Um, they never, I just realized they didn't even translate the new words. Uh, the reason why they look different is because apparently this new button here does not return to the map directly. Instead it, uh, returns you to the quest. Uh, what the fuck is this? Where'd my language go? Let's go. Did I switch languages? I don't remember switching languages. Okay, let's, let's go back. I don't know what, what happened. I must have switched languages like a dumbass at some point. I don't even get there. No stop, no farm ever. Literally when? Literally when did I press Japanese? I don't understand. I don't remember that. Am I stupid? <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, the Jap automatic language should happen to you too? Okay, good thing. Uh, you let me know that, otherwise I figured I am having early onset Alzheimer's to have done that myself. Okay, good. <laughs> How many drinks am I spending? Um, I'm gonna spend all of them, but that means I'm not gonna be able to do it all in the stream. So the hard cap for this stream is just gonna be three hours in total. Uh, so... What's it called? Maybe starting... now, instead. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll just stop at the... Okay, two and a half hours, even though I kind of messed around in the first... It doesn't matter. Point is, you know, um, it's just a demonstration for everyone else. Of course, I'm gonna farm outside the stream too, but uh, might as well for the first day actually farm as much as I can. Maybe I'll farm next week too, uh, when the next banner drops. Um, I don't think I'll be farming tomorrow. I mean, I, not on stream, anyways. ガチで決めるぜ。俺から花引きずり、ガチで決めるぜ。揺れぬ。ガチで決めるぜ。俺から引きずり、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から引きずり、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から引きずり、ガチで決
It's like, like if Scuffles gave rank HP that was any shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. It's kind of like if you're doing a Blossom quest, it's like regular Scuffles at that point, but... And if you're farming for coin at that point, then why have any rank XP boosters since you could go all in for coin instead? I don't know, it seems like it's a weird compromise to have both coin and rank uh, on your team composition. Because you can just do all coin instead. And if you're a prior phasing rank, then you could definitely bring more rank HP. Kind of have like an awkward middle zone that's not really optimal in either sense. Anyway, just let me know if you want to use my Invari with a different AR. <laughs> Does anyone farm Invari with uh, the Blossom quest? I'm just assuming they do because, you know, I heard it's not that difficult. And... We can win. Let's just go ahead and use our seeds for now. Alrighty. Get all these non-damage dealing bozos. I don't even know who to prioritize anymore. Uh, I guess we can work on Pazuzu, even though he's not even a down dealer. I do bring him frequently enough to make it somewhat justified. He ends up being in a lot of my uh, team demonstrations just because of his utility. <laughs> Well, it's like, why would you use AR as a private only a 10% boost when you could spec into different resources with a larger boost? Um, I mean... That would be only a valid concern if it was like... You found some sort of equivocal exchange between them. Between saying 10% boost of coin is equal to 10% boost of seeds. But that's not, you know, necessarily the same, right? You could be complaining about... For example... 10% boost uh, in an FP versus a 10%, the 100% boost it gives, right? I, I don't see you bringing the FP boosting AR, so <laughs> it matters, right, what the specific resource is, not the, just the actual percent. Hey, does someone, uh, does someone know what uh, you should do if your host mode is stuck in the login screen? I have heard that if you try to switch your uh, system language, or device language, rather, at, so for your phone itself. Uh, that might fix it. No one grinds FP. <laughs> well, uh, my point stands, right? The resource does matter. Um, and to say, you know, 10% isn't as good as like 15% for rank ESP or something weird like that. It's like, then you're making the implicit assumption there that coin, uh, that coin boost is equal to you know, drop rate for Blossom or Seed. And it's not necessarily true, right? In fact, a lot of people don't even care about Seed. And some people don't care about Blossom. No one's saying <laughs> uh, This is the call out for Hidden. Uh, let's go ahead and dump our... shit Blossoms, too. Uh, the most powerful Ellie. I've never... She's, like, not a down shieler, and, you know... I don't like her in that way, but it's also like, I use her so often just because. <laughs> so, uh, she gets that priority. Yes, uh, your phone language, apparently. I don't know why that makes a difference, but... Um, if you want more details, go check out the Discord in the description. Um, I don't know if... what's it called? It, they were referring to, uh, the app language, but they definitely said device language, so I'm assuming that's the phone itself. Send to friend request, by the way, you have 5 star top tunnel on your free slot. Um, insert Buzz Light you mean. <laughs> free thinkers. Uh, I'll check it out in a bit, actually. Might as well, since I'm here, but let's try to get rid of all these as well. Alright, good and gotcha. I haven't used it in a hot minute, but take these. And we can just save those, we bundle them together. Can we just drop that one random attack seed, please? Uh... Here. Uh, Reparus. Yeah. <laughs> the 
the strongest rep of this ever. You can have that extra attack seed. Let's go ahead and check out that friend request that has been sent. Because I'm lost for this opinion. Friend requests. And you are Lin. I wonder if that's your using here too. I'm gonna be mad if it's not. Who are these fucks? I guess they don't have anything in what slot. Yeah, I don't see a username called Lin here. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. Rank 56 with level 1 Kiji mode. They just start. Whatever. As long as you play every day and use my sports. Please use my sports. Use them every day. Uh, then I'll keep you on my friends. <laughs> Where are you at? Lin, 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 Lin. Oh, this is not you? <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what the username is then. Okay, if you're not gonna tell me, I'm just gonna dip. Might have to reset your thing, be honest. Uh, maybe I'll just play some quests and then I can check it out later again. Anywho, uh, let's resume this... <laughs> What's my max stamina right now? Uh, 135. Alright, it's odd. It's time to use... 7 meters. So we should be ending off with... 87 drinks after? It does. ついてこい。引きずり込まれる。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬようにするのだぞ。揺れぬ。はい。引きずり、はい。人しく引きずり。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺揺れぬ。I Alright, I have those things in this place too. You want to see your player ID? I mean, feel free to share it in chat. I'm not gonna be spending time adding people right now. If you want to add me, then go ahead. Um, wait, I, maybe you guys don't know what. Alright, might as well. Um, I'm gonna look. Guess what? Uh, this is not gonna be the, the Hunger Games or Battle Royale. I'll give you guys my... ...thing. I don't even know how you added me in the first place without it, but... Uh, yeah, let's back out. And... Let's go to... What's the distraction for this quest? Uh... Options... What are they looking for? My username. Or my ID. No, it's... <laughs> God, I'm... <laughs> this navigation's so confusing, goddammit. Uh... Check for friends. Alright, here's my ID, you guys, if you want to add me. Um... Hopefully this is backfire and something decides to spoof my account and <laughs> take it. It doesn't matter, I have the receipts for my purchases. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, apparently. Oh, I don't know how that worked. Barbie already added you, shut the fuck up. So yeah, for future reference, here is my ID. Go ahead and go crazy with trying to add me, and I will accept one of you guys, <laughs> depending on who has the... Uh, best, I guess, retention time for uh, logging in, as well as those who have uh, good sports. Well, you, I don't really care about good sports, as long as you're using my sports. Uh, but yeah. Enjoy! Um, God damn it. <laughs> I'm so lost in this fucking map. Shinigawa. We're waiting for the day when Harvey decides to stream Corporate Clash, Toon Town. And as a face stream. Wouldn't that be fun to watch? Alright, 
ガチで決めるぜ俺から離れぬ揺れぬ二敗だ引きずり二敗だ等しく沈むガチでガチで決めるぜ揺れぬ二敗だ二敗だ引きずり込まれるガチでガチで決めるぜ Very appropriate music Chiba destroying everything as usual 揺れぬ勝ちで一敗引きずり等しく二敗だ Oh, okay, you're using Japanese. Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Can you just keep the same username? That's actually one of my pet peeves, and people decide to be fancy and use different usernames across different accounts. Like, if you want me to add you, like, don't fucking change your identity and then be like, oh yeah, just add me. It's obvious why. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just realized that the music's a bit too loud. Uh, <laughs> I'm so dumb! It's because I didn't prepare the stream properly. Guys, if you can hear me properly, just let me know. But, like, if it's too loud, okay. this might be too quiet, actually. Let's raise it a bit. There you go. That's probably fine, maybe. <laughs> Got zero commentary to provide in your streams other than wow, my teammates are stupid. But don't you see? Then people can point out your own flaws and then you'll learn and be humbled that you're actually the shit one after all. <laughs> or am I? I don't know. Um, I don't know what other streamers do. It's a different experience for me when I stream with Hopsmith. It's a weird way. I'm, I'm still like the. I'm pretty sure RT random ass streams aside for units. That he doesn't he doesn't even play hostman anymore. Um, I'm like the only hostman streamer, so I feel a bit like a, a trailblazer, which is a bit of motivation in itself to actually do it, even if I don't have too much to say. Um, but maybe that'll be your thing for Toontown. I don't think. I, mean, I, never, I never checked. I'm presuming maybe <laughs> Toontown streams aren't really that common either. <laughs> Once my team sniffs at your touch three, it's show over for you. <laughs> You just gotta learn how to be toxic while uh, being toony. Send me a friend request. I'll go ahead and uh, check out who I can add. Maybe I'll even remove some people, honestly, because there's some items uh, that maybe don't play the game anymore. Uh, I actually had a full friend list uh, yesterday, uh, I think, but then I killed Dun, uh, who joined me on stream on time for the New Year's discussion. Because he hadn't logged in for 30 days, I'm like, dude, what the fuck. Bye, bitch. Toontown streams are a thing, yeah. I see, I see. Maybe you can, like, be on stream together and then try to aim for the next Leroy Jenkins moment for Toontown. <laughs> I suppose Team Tram uh, would be more streamable than Host, though, given that it's after one player game. ガチで決めるぜ。俺 Let's see the poll so far. Are some of you guys really gonna be just using the character screen? I don't really understand that choice, but the only thing the character choice has... Well, I guess there's two things the character choice has. Um, 
Student. If you decide to use a character for your home screen, one, you have to see a unique background, which you can't trust in the room. The room only does literal rooms, they never let you actually go outside. And uh, two, I guess you can change your, your expression by clicking them, but you can't just be able to use I don't know if it's worth it or not. It's a bit tacky to see, you know, just some random box sprite standing in, uh, clearly copy and paste it onto the background, which is why I am preferring ARs for my choices, because everything is really in the composition. Got any requests? Cool, cool, cool. Right, I'll check them out. Uh, in due time. In fact, I'll check them out after I back out from this, which I'll be doing at 80 something. But, yeah, it's a. Uh, you're gonna need to tell me who you guys are, presuming you don't have all these things. The characters look good with their backgrounds. That's all Licho, your class. Okay. Is it in Festival Licho like diagonal or something? They just like diagonally doing this while like pasted in the bottom of some festival screen <laughs> and completely out of proportion from everything else? Yeah, I don't think so. That's not my cup of tea. It was already hard enough to make guilds look good just by adding some uh, board rings and all that. But. Like, having that a level of control completely taken away from me with the character compositions are kind of bad. It's very disappointing. But to be expected. Your name is just Ali? Yeah, there's no right to mistake that. Yeah. Whatever happened to godly rival enemies? When you start going by oddly. I thought it was just like a, a joke uh, pun or something, but I guess that's just your main handle now. You're <laughs> just smashing mugs, Boogie Man. Actually, looking at Boogie Man's solo character picture, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. Because she was just like the diagonal in the middle of the jungle at the bottom, and I was like... And his like background art is like on the beach too, so shit doesn't make sense. I do wish we had more control over my guild though, because even that's kind of mid. I, before this update came out. I was thinking of doing like one guild, uh, switching between a guild and one AR and one character, maybe. But then I realized it's just like, but the art just looks so much better than whatever I can make in the guild, and the characters just like worse by themselves. Godly rival got cringy for you. <laughs> I see, I see. But yeah, um, it would. Since I make, I've made so much thumbnails now for all my videos and streams. Um, I know how to make them look pretty, but the options that you have in my guild are not it. It's like you can move them, and you can move the stupid stickers uh, ro in a rotation, but you can't rotate the characters. And. There's no like masks or filters or uh, adjustment layers or anything. Would be super cool to have. Uh, like, I understand, you know, it. it'd be a complete waste of effort to be replicating the Photoshop software in some random build feature, but 
It's... I don't know. Even the options, like the backgrounds, or the foregrounds, rather, um, for the camera shots, like, those aren't permanent. At least let those... You know, let me keep those on place, rather than force me to turn them on just to look at them for a brief moment. Like, you can't even do that for your goal. Uh, you know, turn on the black bars on top, or the action lines, or anything like that. Just for sake of your graphic design philosophies and become full horny. <laughs> like uh, with those uh, cushy lay in, in positions. In my it's a bit sad because, uh, what's it called? You can only have, I thought it would be the case where you'd be able to have three different my guild arrangements for it, but... And I was actually interested in doing that, but... It's just the one guild you can put up, that's it. You put Christmas Jiro on. This will leech out and summer Mario as your home screen. The background's so good. I did put up Christmas Jiro and I did think his was pretty good too, yeah. But then I saw Boogie Man's and I was like, I'm off. I think I'll just dip from the characters entirely. <laughs> the only reason that character selection has any viability is because they give such shit room backgrounds for my builds. It'd be nice to actually be out in the open space for it. But like, I know they're going for the, it's like the, your guild room, but like, come on. Let's be real. Some of them aren't even rooms, like Boogeyman's uh, Jurassic stuff. That's, you could actually just set up the Jurassic Outdoors with that one, but everything else has to be room, like, for pretty sure. さあ、引き継ぎ込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬように揺れぬ。はい。ちょっと、はい。引き継ぎ込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から反、引き継ぎ込
uh, his base four star in another slot. And for those that are farming rank EXP for some reason, uh, who has my rank EXP boosters? Just walk and talk to Mugen in one of the slots. And. Thanks more than five slots, I have my. Um, oh yeah, it's leaked. Uh, Valentine Leak, who has the Build Master AR. Who has the... Clean... I don't even remember. Maybe he does? Uh, surely not. I don't even remember. I'll check out my friend list after this too. Or my support list rather. Hello? Fuck, okay, come on. これから離れ引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。引きずり。
sort of. Um, I should probably get to doing that again. I do have some level seed saved up. I can start doing that again, but... Yeah, I should probably start doing that soon. But I, I want to level seed uh, walk on talk on me again to 87, so that I can bring him to 86, so he's above everyone who's 85. Uh, right now he's only 85, but um, I actually have to use a bunch of boosts for that, because I wanted to make sure he was at least 85 for this event. Does Pazuzu need seeds? Uh, no, but I use them often enough to that it actually makes it worthwhile. At least for the video demonstrations I do. I mean, look at the look at these other units here. Like, do any of these units really need seeds? I can tell. Uh, and before I point out, oh, this guy has a variant, I probably don't have that variant that actually is a damage dealer, so... <laughs> um, I'll just have to make do with these guys. Those are seeds. Alright, I should use the blessings as well. Um. Alright. I've already finished Ellie. I don't even have to dump it on. I guess I'll do it on. He's been delayed way long enough. Actually, worth using for this Valentine thing now. Bunch of medium tier ones. Who should we bring up now? Can work on as much as I'd like to finish off Bugman in more ways than one. It's like why? <laughs> I'm not really using him for damage healing. But I have Tarmy T. Yeah, please, Jesus Christ. I was lucky. And we can dump this one attack seed on another dirt. Okay, let's go ahead and investigate our render quests now. Maybe we should sort this by last login. This is Lin. You're fucking rank 130? Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't realize you were that hardcore. Actually, I feel like I talked to you in Samacore before, but I'm, I'm surprised I never added you if you had this fucking OD rank. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck, actually? <laughs> um, someone likes to rank XP too much. Good sport list. Good sport list. Pretty cool. Yeah, Lin's a... This is a banger. This is what I like to call it. Supposedly, oddly added us too, but I don't see him here, so it is a mystery. Oh, you can't add me now that I've done this. Alright, let's go check out player rank. Uh, let's log in. Who the fuck is player and why did they have a level 1 Qinglong? Oh, it's fucking arc. I should just remove that. This player doesn't even play. Like, this this login status is a fucking lie. He doesn't even play this game, man. Whatever, goodbye, Arky. <laughs> So, logging in is not everything that it comes up to be. If I know for a fact you're just bullshitting and you're not even playing the game, like, get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out. Anyways, I still have room for one more, but I don't see obvious arrival. Um, if any of you decide to send a, a friend quest... Oh, there's queuing. Oh well. Uh... Strong is good. Everything else is kind of mid, but it's fine. Uh, just use my support and we'll call it a deal. Twink obliterated, as is rightly done. I don't see oddlies, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna have to proceed with the farming. I don't know who these fucks are, but presumably they're not related to today's requests. Let's go ahead and zoom. Where's the music? Oh, it's this. We're gonna use our drinks until we're at 80. 
Oh man, we are not making good seed progress today. We only finished like one unit. Gosh. Ayoko! さあ、引き揺り込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れ、揺れぬ。はい、引き揺り込まれ。引き揺り込まれ。引き揺り込まれ。引き揺り込まれ。引き揺り込まれ。引き
決まりすぎー大量引きずり込まれよガチでガチで決めるぜ俺から離れぬ揺れぬかわいい Um, right, there's one other thing I need to show you guys from this campaign, but I'll do it after. I think I'll just do it after this run right now. Most disorganized, remember. So, uh, one other thing that's unique about this campaign that it's offering is the, the Golden Caverns open. And、uh, we'll go ahead and quickly do some runs on those right now. I did save my DP up for this.、Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at the q u e s t i o n It's not the Golden a a l Which emulator do I use?、Uh, well, Sebastian, I use Blue Stacks. I forget the version, but you can figure it out. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that difficult at all. It does have like ads on the side, but from what I can tell, it doesn't show up on stream.、Um, and it doesn't show up when it's full screen like right now. That one, those like don't matter at all.、Uh, but yeah, let's find ourselves a coin booster and go ahead with the coin team down here. Nice 2 million. But yeah,、uh, Blue Stacks is fairly nice.、Um, just be wary about some issues with using it with OBS sometimes appears. Not too common, and they're pretty easy to avoid. But sometimes there's like a full screen bug that OBS fails to capture properly. Um, I'd also just recommend you use like a burner Google account to set your account details for that instance, which I did. But, like, you know, I don't have my account details stolen or something. <laughs> so, you can have this instead. <laughs> やったよな後輩さあ合体だ合体ガチで決めるぜ !I have control! 合体だバイドガ,ガチで決める合体だいけ合体ガチで決めるぜ合体だいけガ,ガチで決めるぜ Alright, that's all three runs that I got. Very easy to do, not difficult at all. But I, I guess it's technically more work than doing the, what's called the regular、uh, level EXP farm. I don't know if it is, honestly, but it's like whatever you prioritize at this point. Coin is super scarce, and I feel like even if we get a half stamina coin camp or a half stamina、uh, daily quest campaign for the coin scuffles. I felt like it still wouldn't even be worth doing it there because it gives like zero other resources. So, this ends up just being de facto one of the better fun resources along with free quests. This is now the Envari stream. Shizuri 
揺れんはい引きずり込まれよガチでき、ガチで決めるぜ俺からは、揺れぬこしのはいはい、引きずり、少しはいどうぬいぐるみ商戦という闘争にいっそ協さあ引きずり込まれガチでガチで決めるぜ俺から離れぬよう揺れぬはいど引きずりはいどひとしくしずむガチでガチで決めるぜ揺れぬはいひとしひとしくしずむガチでガチで決めるぜ俺からは揺れぬくはい、はい、引きずり人しくはいどうわれ愛欲に打ち勝てる So, uh, are any of you who are watching right now actually interested in the current banners? お前を落とすのだ I know one of you actually pulled for Bay Bunyan, so congrats on that Um, for actually getting a complete set It's getting a weird vibe from these, uh the rollout of all these uh, pickup banners, though. They seem kind of uh, almost super thorough across different years. Like, what I mean by this is, I mean, yes, they're like officially killing off uh, you know, proper event reprints for these banners, which I don't mind. But the way they're spread out, it almost feels like. I mean, I'm not. I, I'm not. I hope I'm not jinxing this. But it almost feels like they're printing out every single unit. Uh, before they're just like, okay, end of service. Let's <laughs> figure out as much as possible. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it gives me that weird vibe because it's like... Particularly with this banner. Um, at least with other banners, they tried to theme them. But this banner has no common theme at all. Like, they're not spring-related. Some of them are from fucking Christmas, others are from like, festival events, and others are from... Like, what is the pattern here? <laughs> Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe they're themed uh, just to, you know, capture every event they haven't yet in a you know, mathematically even distribution as possible in order to fucking just release everyone as fast as possible. <laughs> I don't understand though. It's fucking. It gives me weird vibes that they're trying to like take their money and run once they publish everything. Uh, nothing interesting. You got 300 cents saved, and he spent his rank corner. That is the smartest decision I've heard in a while. Yeah, I'm not too interested in many of the units coming up. The UFC is probably like very, very tiny, tiny want. Not even. <laughs> if he was like combined with other units, I'd want sure. But other than Kuniyoshi, the only one I didn't get on banner was like Yamasa Chiko, who does. And the other banner is like Hogan, which is fine, I guess. I mean, he might get an Evo, who knows? Maybe it's just an excuse to give a bunch of them Evos. I mean, I guess, but. They should still give them Evos and have a theme like they did with the old ones banner. In fact, didn't they give like literally everyone on the old ones banner an Evo? So it's, you know. It's not just the good ones that, or the bad ones that try those, it's just literally everyone. <laughs> There's no reason why they couldn't just see this one either. It's nice we're getting so much evos because it does, you know, make a I guess, this game feel like your collection was worth keeping after all. And it's not just all about the new units. But I do feel like there's not really... They don't really advertise it or present it in a way that feels exciting. <laughs> it doesn't feel like an event in any way. Um, even though it's like, I'm sure they... At least for some of the evolutions, it seems they put in some good thought in how to make them interesting and all that. And for some of them. <laughs> Maybe not most of them, but some. Uh, so it's a shame that, you know, this was like mentioned as a side thing that there's periodically releasing as a good thing, but then no one cares. Um, I don't know, maybe it'd be nice if they, like, released some sort of drop quest event uh, that featured the units that got evos. Or some challenges that featured, uh, you know, ways to actually use those evos. 
Like, if they want to be stingy with tickets, fine, but, you know, maybe release some challenges that have, like, coin rewards instead, or... That would be nice, because we're not getting coin at all. Alright, this is probably the most random banner we've had in ages. The last pickup we had was the old ones banner, the one before that. What was that again? Oh, let's see if I can hold out a list of. おれから離れるよ。しずる。はい、しずるに。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。ポップビデオ。俺、揺れぬ。はい、ポップ。はい、ガチ。さあ、次。さあ、the it was the Ogre's banner before that, it was the Zodiac banner, and before that it was the Dragon's banner. Before that was the Christmas remix banner. And before that was... Anniversary, which is just Mystic Christmas. Yeah, all of these are themed so far. There's not really any that's random like this one is. I think the last one would have been like the Oz banner. Or maybe the fucking AGF banner. It would be nice to see it though. I could actually scroll, scroll past all these people talking in the video channel on my server. Yeah, I guess the most random one we had before that, I guess, was uh, the furry and human pickup banners. Which was featuring Tidamos and all that. So, yeah, I don't know. That was kind of a death here, it's so understandable, but. Well, at the very least, those Evos are super, super good. These ones don't look that hot so far. Maybe the next banner will have better news, but. Not that it looks so far. お前を落とすのだ。さあ、引きずり込まれ、ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れ、揺れぬ。引きずり込まれ、ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。揺れぬ。はい、ガチで。引きずり込まれ
Who was on him again? It was Hogan. Smoky God. Uh, Ikutoshi. Alright, so the full list is gonna be Hogan, Kengo, Ikidoshi, Spooky God, Tita, and Jumbo Bun. The only ones I don't have from that banner are going to be Hogan, Jumbo Bun, and. Sorry, just those two. <laughs> so, do I want to pull for uh, Jumbo Bun or Hogan? Can jump of on really ever be as good as like drawing when it comes to stress units that have a board wipe? And those are charge packs. And when it comes to like Hogan with addiction reach movement for bind. Uh, I mean, you can already find people for white now, like Oscar and Cody or Oz and so many options. Okay, let's back out and use our seats. These attack seats from here. Can you imagine if uh, they had pitch meetings for skill evolutions? <laughs> I do wonder about that. Like, is it just exclusively decided by the you know the game developers or you know the, the game coders? Probably not, right? Because they need to decide uh, the banners themselves. So it's probably just a side thought to making some pickup banner. I'll lead W like, all right, how are we gonna buff Kuniyoshi? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm guessing the first step is deciding who's gonna be in a pickup, and before they decide, fucking you no, know, if 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 what if any uh, evos are gonna get, like, it seems like they rolled fucking dice to decide who's on this pickup. So I don't know. Uh, at that point, you know, it seems the game coders are having more thought about the game than the one deciding banners. Uh, the Kuniyoshi Evo scene... I don't remember what it was about. Actually, let's go ahead and... Uh, did I close those pages? I actually translated the... You know, let's, I'm not going to leak anymore. It's pointless. You're going to find out in a few days what his Evo is. But I do remember it made him somewhat stronger and inflicted a debuff on the enemy what he did extra, but it wasn't too fancy from what I remember. Same thing for... Was the other guy receiving your Evo? Ah, uh, these fucks. So dull. These fucks. Uh, Amatsumara. Yeah, I mean, he might actually be a decent magic damage dealer after. Oh, Kamasan! Welcome, welcome. Yoroshai. And the Isaac stand is just... They're sitting in the corner staring at them. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, Isaac's... Theoretically helpful, but they've been outclassed now Oz was released. No reason to try to go for his possession thing when, like, you just must annoy Oz at that point. Not gonna attack you. Yeah, no, let's not do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess on Necros is actually a good choice. I don't have his 5 star, but his 3 star is actually good for damage just because of stigma. Good, I say, well. No one else has like a damage gem among this list, anyways.
Did they buff his uh, charge to Bougie Isaac? Yeah. Did they? Something about possession, right? Yeah, I'm barely remembering anything. Oh. Well. It's because it was like translated in English or whatever it was, you know, Google Translate English and shit barely made sense. Uh, I didn't get an impression any of them were strong. Okay, I don't think they're bad, but, you know, no, no, no one's turning into Christmas Ryota. Or not even Ryota himself, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's use these attack blossoms. Something, something, moving at 100 CP applies doubt to the board. Oh yeah, that was somewhat cool, I guess, but you know. I guess we don't have too many insects that can apply doubt, and there's not really anyone that you can use Oz for that. But then again, you could just fucking use Oz with, as a sauce to have evasion on uh, your entire team instead at that point. That's his only move skill? Very cool. It's interesting as a debuff since doubt is theoretically strong, but it's just there's so much classes or options that outclass it now. They made uh, doubt so restrictive, but then like gave away evasion like candy on Halloween. When you see the dev uh, yet again, made garbage kit for you. Who let them cook? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't even matter if units have good or trash kits nowadays. Game's so easy with so many good options that, and the challenges are so, so trivial that, <laughs> like, you know, you're just pulling for the yard at that point because you can just clear with someone else if you're having a hard time with your favorite. It is not that deep game, unfortunately. I'd like it to be. It was pretty deep at one point, but right now it's just actively turning my brain into mush with how easy it is. In very least, it feels a compulsive desire for me to min-max a bunch of things. A sense of control might like that. Then I'm laughing. Who said that? Uh, yeah, we should use these medium tier seeds on something. Oh, go ahead and toss it on... You... Alright, she'll be reaching uh, 1280 soon, which is the stopping point for me before I commit to using tier 3s completely. And this game is a card unique simulator. From what I heard, apparently they managed, at least according to Zalgus, who, you know, joins on streams, they managed to actually make a pretty decent all range resistance multiplier for the second challenge quest for a Valentine Crossroad. Granted, the rest of the quest was super easy anyways, because it's just like, they didn't, like, barely any damage and just had, like, keep ups and didn't really have anything else changed from the kit. And you could stall because they never moved. But the fact that they were able to actually have some counterfall all range that, you know, could not just be overcome uh, is a nice start, at least. Way, way overdue, though. Alright, we'll be using these drinks until we're at 73. さあ、引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から花、引きずり込まれ。引きずり込まれ。ガチで決めるぜ。俺から引きずり込まれ。引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決める
Um, I felt so proud when I made my first party setup that was reliable. In fact, I'm pretty sure I was like the first one. At least among English players, maybe Japanese players could do something, but I I feel like I was the first English player to uh, have a, a team that could get a board wipe every turn, or, or you know, nearly every turn. Um, I believe board wipes were first made accessible with Christine's release, just for the turn one. No one was thinking about doing consecutive board wipes at that point. And then uh, Typhon was released after with the second board wipe charge, although that was a bit difficult to build. Um, when Guillemot released though, uh, I'm not actually getting much of a though, because I think he's pretty cute and I like his voice actor. But, uh, yeah. I built up the first team, but you've never seen Guillemot, which was essentially using uh, him with Leet, I believe. So, even if mine was Leet, I was able to build their charge pretty quickly and get the charge going off maybe once every two or three turns. And that was like an achievement of time. And I was able to like time it so that he would have his charge ready for the first turn of every next phase. Uh, the beginning of the end, to be honest. <laughs> so it, it was enjoyable to think of the team building, especially when AR is released. I was also the first one to uh, create uh, what's called an AR dependent setup where it finally unlocked the uh, ability to have a board wipe every turn on base start. And that was because uh, ARs will let you combine it with a leak with the Oath of Pioneer AR uh, while using Ryota to with some other CP AR, which would then let you boost someone's charge up to 100 CP no matter how much they normally start with, even if it was at zero. And, you know, if you can build it up on turn one through a face start effects, then you can build up on every face. And I felt proud about that, but now I'm just like, Oscar just exists as a face time gives board wipes, so it is no longer special. There hasn't been any sort of special team building feeling for this game for a while. That felt special on the least to work towards the hard board wipe, but right now, maybe it's just that special feeling for new players. You know, I might be biased because I'm a veteran player, but at least for veteran players, that, that special feeling of team, team building hasn't really been present for quite a long time now. Hello, Ikuru. Uh, do you have any? Do I have anyone in mind to pull in the incoming Nice Master banner? Um, it's pretty interested in getting Michael and Matarasu because I did like their role in the story. Um, I do like good villains written in the game. And of course, there's Raven and Prometheus. Uh, that's more Irby thing, though. They look okay, I guess. Um, but I don't know anything about them in the story, so I have no attachment to them. Um, there are a few other units that have not been officially announced. Um, or at least not announced in game. There's apparently Baphomet, which is some. Um, I don't really care about her. And then there's some um, Angel Dude. Who looks like he came out of law. That's kind of He's okay, yeah. uh, Prometheus, aka the bald guy in. What's it called? The, uh, the Wanderers. Mugen and Jugo, yeah. <laughs> He looks okay, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know anything about them, right? Like, if they're not super, 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 super cute, then it's like, I don't... I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm looking forward to them releasing, like, one. You get, like, neat OCs every time I open up my Twitter page and look for porn, so... Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, Amatras and Michael just because that's already been built beforehand and what they've done in the story. I'm not sure they'll release Curran. Um, uh, I feel like even though Curran's supposedly important, she barely showed up in the story too. Um, at least Amatras and Michael had a presence. Curran kind of just showed up at one point and was like, Give me your thing, and then giant robot, and then she flew away when she couldn't. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. Well, I I'm just talking about, you know, characters that we have seen art for, and I know Banffmet is one of them. I don't know if they're going to release a new semester or not. Maybe not. But that's like 
get a Tarlis of Venus, I'm pretty sure. Shizuri Komori! Ruben Kugo, Alphabet, uh, Amaterasu, and uh, Michael, uh, Prometheus, and Raven. Yeah, I can't really think about anyone else. I might be forgetting some off the あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Jackson. He also works. Real state guard. So no damage stacking. Like five old. Everything was super low rate. Um, the leak was actually. At least to me, with my options, felt like one of the better options. I know. Back then, the, the best options were the defensive ones when Aizen and Snow were like considered meta. <laughs> so. I, at least, uh, Leaf was one of the better offensive options in the game. At least. And that compounded with, you know, him being chubby and just him existing as a chubby character that uh, drawn in a feeling way. Uh, since, you know. It, it was like. It was fairly rare for me to see before that point, other than in porn. It was kind of validating to see. Not just Leaf, but all these characters in Hussam were just existing and not being like the butt of a joke, like the characters you are in other media. And, you know. That compounded, compounded with his kit and, you know, him being my first 5 star. And then I actually got to chapter 5 and 6 and I read about Leaf. And, you know, the, the writing got good back then. A actually, accelerated with the character writing, uh, first conflicts, and, you know, me al being able to connect with him and relate to him about his uh, feelings about finding an equal. And uh, his kind of trying to make a master plan only for things to fall apart. That was something, at least back then, that I related with a lot. There's, like, a lot of personal reasons why, like, uh, in the end, that were a lot of it was incidental, not like ordained to point, but mostly because I, I grew with him as I played this game. Yeah, that's another thing. I probably wouldn't have got into this game as much if it wasn't for Leet. Uh, partly because as I was trying to understand how to best use Leet, I l read his kit and I tried to get exact percentages, the average amount of uh, CP you would get for any Indian hit. And, you know, thinking about strategies like that, of team arrangements, and who would be best his, his best partners. And just from learning from him, uh, I learned how to understand human kits in general, and I ended up reading a bunch of other kits, and eventually I read every kit in the game, and uh, Leaf has a huge history for me. And it's very sad that people just blow him down to, you know, Hitler. <laughs> Especially since he's not like that at all in the game. Also, his voice acting is so cute, like, Jesus Christ. And also, he's so funny! Holy shit! I love his uh, friendship dynamic with uh, Benton and Fumiyoshi. Uh, I still stand by, even now, after all these years of this game's uh, story writing, they still prop. They still have the best friendship in this entire game. Uh, the relationship between Benton and Leaked and Kunio. <laughs> it's the uh, fucking funniest shit I have ever seen. Hitler <laughs> <laughs> didn't kill for this art game. <laughs> Stop. But yeah, Leaked is a very special, personalized case of why I like him. The more personalized uh, my connection with them, the more I end up liking them. Which is why, you know, I ended up liking Jury Hunt so quickly, because he already had a lot of personalized features from the outset. Um, but yeah, besides that... Come on, man. Like, you know, uh, it's like... <laughs> it's cute. Shut up. I, I don't... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna look at the key characters like, oh, what's his age? <laughs> like, so, <laughs> it's completely fictional. Don't, don't ruin this for me. Fucking... Okay. Inaba looks more, like, older than the stupid bluey characters. <laughs> Pop parts. Jesus Christ. Whatever, man. I still think he's cute, but it's also, like, no, minor aside. Um, his story was kind of, like, only okay. It wasn't bad, it was just... It was interesting to learn more about... More about Onamichi? Onamichi? I can't see his name properly. <laughs> uh, Daikoku, and his background was Inaba, and... Uh, I, th I think that was more interesting in a story sense of, like, interconnections. Not really personally about Inaba, because his own backstory about, like, you know, how the outcome was kind of boring, but how it expanded into the Koki story was a lot more interesting for me. It's funny just how practically everyone warned you about it. Um, and yet you allowed the Marines <laughs> warning us to control that. I was able to live in a year of, uh, what's it called? Pure denial that, you know, was based. So, <laughs> if I was allowed to, like, email before for one year without uh, you know, being told the truth, then that's enough for me. Um, but, yeah, I still like him. Uh, just... That feature aside, I do think his writing was kind of plain on those. Kind of just like... 
know, most other New Year's story. It's not, you can't really expect much from New Year's writing. But to be honest, that was probably the best New Year's story we had. Well, I don't know anything about what happens to Mushrooms in Dragon's story. Um, but yeah, thoughts on Furufumi. Oh yeah, I used to like him a lot, but I think that was just like, partly because of his trailer. I liked his voice acting in the trailer, and you know, they made such a hype thing about Chapter 9. Um, because, you know, it was the opening of version 4.0, which is still the version we're playing today. Uh, super point update that released ARs and, uh, you know, started making uh, the story a lot more, have higher stakes and have more, uh, make the, the actual chapters feel like events too. So, yeah, Furufumi got me hyped back then, but then he released and... You know, it was kind of okay to play, kind of fun with his permanent best and since no one had. But it's also like... Board wipe was fun, and defense was fun. Um, take rate aside though, um, there was just better options coming out a lot faster at that point. At, or after some point anyways, where board wipe was actual damage is coming out, so... You never really need to stall with board wipe here. Um, so the reasons to play Food for Me could be dropped the Food for Me stock, stock shot. And his voice acting, unlike in the trailer, he sounded like a complete pussy that was like wetting his pants every time he did literally anything. Um, so that kind of ruined my impression of him based on how cool he said in the trailer. And. I don't know, he, he's a bit of, he kind of has that some guy-ism syndrome. He's kind of just there in most of the story parts. Like, I know he has some vaguely important role in the library for leading you through the library to, uh, access future memories. But I feel like they could have explored more. He supposedly knows the future, but a new future is being written that hasn't been written before. Um, which is... Interesting in itself, I guess, but then you'd like to see his festival variant story, and it's kind of just. He doesn't want to do anything with anyone. <laughs> He's like, I want to be in stores, and like, I want to stay away from everyone. <laughs> so just uh, ignore the festival, the party that's happening inside, and make, like, purchase some old books or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine to be introverted, but. You know. You're already there. Read the tone. It's a. Festival. Yeah, playing time three books. So. And then his importance in the story kind of just dramatically dropped after. Um, and, you know, it's not really explained how he's just in the other dungeons. He's just like, oh, I guess they connect. <laughs> like, okay, sure. Also, technically, technically about you know, but they, they never. 100% fully confirmed that this is my denial still coming <laughs> up. I'm not even gonna continue. <laughs> it's just like, maybe it could have been Daikoku calling him like a metaphorical child, like, you know, young Padawan or, you know, some shit like that. <laughs> you finally got off the road. How has the seed grind been treating you? It's been going alright. Um, I mean, the grind itself is about as interesting as you can expect. We're making good progress. So I seeded a couple of units already. Um, we checked out the new features, which is throughout the UI, and we've been talking about, you know, adding people, my friend list, as well as... Right now we're just talking about my favorite units, as well as, uh, why I ended up liking them. Um, I feel like I should have kept them going. Oh, I miscounted big thing. Oh well. Because Edge presenting and base. Did I not already attack see them? I can check. Maybe not.
I don't think he has any attack buffs. He just gives attack buffs to allies, so... Maybe attack up. You know what? Did I already boost them? Oh, there he is. Uh, fucking hit ass. What's this guy? That's attack up 60%. Uh, do I really want to taxi this dude? He doesn't even have any damage up for himself. I should probably do his tiers next. Because he actually has quite a few amps. And I have his variants. Alright, fine. Let's on this mid unit. Let's resume. Two. This one. We're gonna be using enough drinks until we're down to 66? Six? Yeah, 66. God, my basic class is so shit. ついてこい。引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れ。揺れ uh, yeah, uh, just like going on, Furufumi might interest in him as dramatically dropped. Barely remember half the time that I liked the <laughs> song. He's just some chubby dude, which is kind of how I feel about the Mugen chubby or whatever this Too far. There you go. ガチで決めるぜ。揺れぬ。はい、少し。引きずり込まれ。ガチで決め。ガチで決めるぜ。俺から揺れぬ。ガチで決め。はい、引きずり。少し。やべ、決まりすぎ。I find it insane how good this uh, Valentine time warp theme is. Alright, you need help. When we start the game for the first time, the very first battle never loads. Ooh, that's not good. Um, again, join the Discord server, uh, linked in the description, and maybe ask them for some tips because I am in no position right now to be able to troubleshoot with you. And I'm not really the best with with anyways. The song that makes you want to Fortnite? No, don't ruin it for me, please. ガチで決めるぜ。揺れぬ。はい。引きずり込まれ。ガチで決め。ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れ。揺れぬ。はい。引きずり込まれ。ガチで決め。ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れ。
きずり込まれるガチでガチで決めるぜ俺から離れぬように揺れぬイドン引きずり込まれる等しくしずにガチでガチで決めるぜ揺れぬイドンイドン等しくしずにガチでガチで決めるぜ俺から反引きずり込むはい、はい、引きずり人しかいだ<笑>お前と一緒だと笑いが止まらんぜさ,さあ引きずり込まれるガチでガチで決めるぜ、oh, right. Here's a funny thing in new home screen function Compare the sizes between Ketchy 3 star and Juron 3 star. I'll do that after this, I guess. Oh, that you can't vote for all three options at home because you're doing all three for your home screen. I, I probably should have done the fourth option, but I don't know. I really rushed that whole question. Time to decide. Which of them do you like most? と一緒だと笑いが止まらんぜさあ次は戦争引きずり込まれるガチでガチで決めるぜ引きずり込まれるガチで決めるぜ引きずり込まれるガチで決めるぜガチでガチで決めるぜ揺れぬイドカットバイド引きずり込まれるガチでガチで決めるぜ俺から反応I'm g o i n g to break the room because you ended up redesigning your guild room for the update. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't even use the room. I mean, the thing is, you guys are still going to see it either way on stream, so I figured there's no point in me you know, having some redundancy in that sense. Take the guild rooms for freaks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, I am always gonna go to the guild room at the end of these streams anyway because it has a music player. I, I, I guess that doesn't matter in this stream. But for any other type of stream, I'd go to the guild room anyways. So let's not waste this slot in something else in the end, anyways. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Let's go check out the Drong and Ketchy comparison. We'll go ahead and. Oh, I'm gone. Um. Brain is malfunctioning. Goodbye, woman. Let's see. Character for. <laughs> It saved、uh, my last choice for this. <laughs> That's funny. c h i r o n Oh, right. He's another. I was thinking of a c h i And. Let's switch between these two until we see him. Oh my gosh, he's enormous. The fuck? <laughs> oh my god, it's c h i r o n Happiness. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see k a c h i now. As he deserves the hugest, cutest button in the world.、Uh, I think he's magic range. Yeah. <laughs> Malnourished cat. Kind of almost makes me want to use Jurong for the home screen because. And he's big. Let's see it again. It's not i n c l i n e d Let's see. Strong, show me yourself again! Oh, he's in Shinjuku, nice.、Uh, I thought he'd be in like Hell Hot Spring given his debut event. Home settings, let's change this back to. Actually, I'm gonna leave it like this because, as nice as the Christine C. Packley art is, um. Bros before hoes. <laughs> so let's continue farming. This our person must really like Otter, huh? No. No! Stop spreading misinformation. I do.
do like chorus a lot though, so it kinda makes it worth it. <laughs> Now that I think about it, they never used the, the Valentine's Time Warp theme for the medley. That's kind of sad, because the Time Warp theme is really good. Uh, the Battle theme, that is. ガチで決めるぜ。俺から反 引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬように揺れぬ。はい、引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。揺れぬ。はい、引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決める
and shows are action oriented. Like, I've also played Zelda, but I don't really add it most music from that because it's very action oriented. I mean, some of them are nice, but I think another reason why I don't update it with Zelda music is just because Nintendo might come after my ass. Um. Other than that, though, I guess I got try I already have one that's so very obscure one that no one will remember. There's like a lot of, uh, you know, energetic music in Splatoon, for example. But I don't have a single song from Splatoon on this playlist because, I, you know, I don't want to buy them until... I don't know, that's only listen to music. I don't really actually seek out music Maybe if I was actually working out or something, but... ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬ引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬ引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。揺れぬ。ガチで、ガチで決め
420 over 69 days, that one. ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬように揺れぬ。はい。引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から揺れぬ。はい。引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から揺れぬ。はい。引きずり込まれ。ガチで。ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬようにする。揺れぬ。はい。引きずり。引きずり。I add the rate that I add new music to this game will uh, depend on how often I try out new games or watch new shows. And I'm probably not gonna add anything from shows or uh, movies to this playlist and released. So it's gonna be entirely dependent on how many new games I play. I'm just gonna play the game to understand the story. I just love info to remember. Yes. I mean, I saw one of those videos that were like doing a recap of Kingdom Hearts story, and it was the most banana sash shit ever. I was like, is this real story? I guess I didn't update this place to include the most recent uh, host of music. I should do that right now. Let's see. Let's see. Start this by. Rack them, please. Review what was added. And we'll also start using our seats too. We'll go ahead and dump some of these seats on Asterius. The only reason I haven't already attacked even further is just because I only got his very increase only. Cross up there. Anything else to use? No. Alright. So hop directly back in, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to add some music from their most recent this most stuff. But I need to find out what was not added yet. So we have 66 strings, we're gonna use it until we have 59 left. Most recent songs that were added were. Oh wow, I did not add this. Update this for a while. For when it comes to host my music, that is. Alright, let's go ahead and toss in a bunch of shit then. Some music. Uh, let's start this quest and go. 
俺から離れ揺れぬ。はい、引きずり、ファイト。人しくしてに勝ちで勝ちで決めるぜ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から揺れぬ。はい、引きずり、ファイト。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれぬ。ゆれ
等しく沈むガチで決めガチで決めるぜ俺揺れぬはい人しくアイドル人しく沈むガチで決めガチで決めるぜ俺からは揺れぬくはい、引き続き、ロスタイドルはい、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと And his bow, which he did. So, I don't know. He was helpful and he synergized with Kazuka. And also, there's only so much I can do with Otter and Shaking Support Slot. And you know, he's not exactly a great unit, anyways, so. I'm not missing much by him being charmed on some turns. The specter of this creature will forever on you. I'm sorry, do you think you could take better otter footage? Like, how exactly would you take better otter footage? Like, what quest would you do specifically? If it's the other white map with missionaries, keep in mind there's like that stupid near last attack phase which just freezes everyone uh, whenever they actually damage. And he needs to move constantly otter, so. The first, the first, a lot of gameplay moment was having coin to actually see your units. Um, I don't remember that happening, but okay. Leftover coin for anniversary? Oh, yeah. Did I get coin for anniversary? I can't even remember. Anyway, I did. Might be a bit early to talk about, but. I wonder what I'll get for this coming anniversary. We are giving way too many platinum tickets now. Like, I know that sounds like a shitty thing to say, and I'm like, I'm keeping, I'm keeping, keeping players from like enjoying some stuff. I like, let's be real. It's reducing the incentive to pull any of the new units except for limited ones. And, like, uh, is there really any other game that has anniversaries this fucking stacked with where you get like nine free units or eight free units with a bunch of coins or seats for no effort at all? I don't think there's like. I really can't think of any other game that has anniversaries that are just that fucking stacked. It's kind of ridiculous. It's ruining the economy of challenge, I guess. In terms of this game, it's easy enough. Let's make it even easier by making you have any choice you want. Your favorite uh, Oweta Christmas moment was funny, you know? Your great uh, decision to blossom Valentine Town Tunnel and Valentine Town Tunnel paid off. I don't know if. I mean, sure, if it works for you. <laughs> Uh, it's a good idea to blossom your units if they're reprinting and re-released, so that there's a chance that players will pick them over anyone else, but... It's... I don't think it's worth it for a star, but people would have it anyways. Let's pick out another more recent song. Uh, or one that I added. 
、俺がお前に落ちるのではない。俺が、お前を落とすのだ。Very nice. If cry music. If cry if it were based. さあ、引きずり込まれ。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬ、揺れぬ。はい、だ。引きずり、はい、だ。Yes, I like to call this theme a Noxus theme. It's just that the technology wasn't there to make music this good for Nox at the time, which is why when this theme played out in his own、uh, character request, nothing played except. But this was what was supposed to play, not the same. Update is very, very, very awful. Okay, good to know you're actually talking about Host though, not the other game. Um. It's not something you can immediately get used to, but it's not going to be too difficult to get used to. It's fine. It's not as hype as I thought it would be, but I don't think it's particularly awful. I do think there's a lot of bugs, which is funny, but it's also like the most expected thing ever. There's always been like, bugs that whenever I、like, added any minute feature, even if it's just a slight battle update. Getting extreme lag and ARs disappearing or reappearing and、uh, charge not like filling when speed is turned on and things like that. You want the preset to show up directly on that? The preset? Oh, you mean like to teleport you directly to the quest you want? If you want a preset, I mean, they have a preset for the event at least.、So. It's not going to be too difficult to navigate once to the map here, but I guess you have to switch out every now and then to use your seed. He hates looking at his faves, I know. All his faves are ugly, so I understand Irby's point of view. Irby should be more understanding, you know. Not everyone has Ir Irby's tastes where everyone's so fucking horrendous to look at that they have to cover their eyes while saying they like them. It's, it's a very misfortune that's like he has, but you have to be understanding. He used mentor teams for your blossom running. Honestly, Kirby makes half a good point、uh, when it comes to. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> There actually is a point to using.、Uh, Or farming for EXP though. Because it is like, technically, it's a resource that's just been completely wasted. It doesn't make good EXP over time.、Um, it's just that the free quests are so team dependent already, and it's already restricted by these attributes. And now you're going to be trying to bring mentors at the same time. They're, they're actually some of the more challenging fun games, so not very compatible with mentor runs as a result. At best, you can have one unit you like leveling without any mentors.、Um, or your mentors in the back slot.、Uh, something's gonna suffer. It doesn't work here, Fade. I meant the argument to not see Fade. It's not for me. It's for me. You already gained a few levels on easy. Also, try saving for the clip the Oscar Blossom Booster if you feel like using Blossom Boosters too, and double this. Well, I don't know. I feel like this mixed stuff is a compromise. I do see the argument of party XP, but I don't know. It does feel like a waste to let it go. In the very least, It might be more worth it, honestly, to do that than to invest in rank XP. So, I've been thinking about that. Maybe I'll I was thinking replace a unit with, so that they're equipping, you know, so they're leveling up instead with the pooling AR rather than bringing a rank XP booster. But if you look at my,、uh, my team composition, like all of them are, they can't change for this one turn clear. <laughs> <laughs> this team here is inflexible. Maybe the Blossom team will be different. But this one is. Like, like you can see here, the blossom, the sea boosts are on both and bares, and、um, I, I can't switch off of、uh, what's called Eta <laughs> to 
to level up someone because he has uh, that actual piercing event that's necessary to make Sheep work. And I can't replace Sheep with either. For obvious reasons. Yeah, chapter 13 quest not very fast. Maybe the wide one, but. Maybe I'll do that when chapter 14 drops away. I actually start leveling some units in the back, but that's probably not going to be possible depending on the difficulty, just because, you know, if I want level 5 stars and there's just going to be there taking a 5 star space, I don't know if that's going to work. You know, EXP is not a resource you're concerned about. You're not a loser with an empty mailbox. <laughs> just an empty wallet, you see. I just feel like it's a waste of resource in general. So there's like something fundamentally suboptimal there for not using that EXP, which, you know, builds up over time by quite a lot. I actually did use a bunch of boosts, maybe like 200, 250 on Wakan, Tanka, and Megan before this campaign started. I really wanted to make sure he broke 85 before it came. It would have been about 86, so. Or a start favor privilege from Bones to Parvina. Oh, I'll have to find out. I can level up Chirong in the back maybe during this farming stuff. That is uh, his base 4 star. ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れ揺れぬ。はい、ちょっと。人しく沈む。ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から揺れぬ。はい、ちょっと。はい、ちょっと。人しく沈む。ガチで、ガチで
depending on what you value. If you value rank e speed, you should probably just drop either rank e speed or coin e speed card, but uh, I'd say rank e speed is more valuable than coin just because you can get coin from multiple sources, but rank e speed, its only good source is from free ones, so you'd want something like this. Uh, in fact, I'd probably replace this one entirely just for uh, this one instead, just because it gives a more rank. So, a setup like this um, is close to optimal, but what it would truly be optimal is if you could fill the rest of them that aren't C boosters with. Uh, what's it called? Mentors. Like that. So, this would technically be the most optimal setup you can have for farming. Two coin boosters, two mentors. Um, one pooling card XP for whatever target you want, and give as much of your seed or blossom boost as you want, and then prioritize a rank XP aster. This is practically impossible, so since mentors are not going to be contributing, your only contributing units will then be just the le you know your leveling, as well as Anvari, which you know he's strong but doesn't have all range, um, and you know the unit you're leveling could. Also, just be useless. You're not useless, strong. Of course you're not. But yeah, that would be the optimal team, in my opinion, for farming uh, in free quests. It's not ever gonna happen, though, so I'll just drop the card XP stuff for now. I might be able to fit in. What's it called? For that team, I might be able to level someone without bringing any mentors. So, something like this. Um, but, you know, not much team space left at this point. Uh, could bring in another 4 star to clear. Uh, but, presuming this unit's not going to be contributing, uh, then I would not bring Mentor and instead I would just bring 2 3 stars, which is unlikely to help. So maybe like 1 4 star in MC, which is also unlikely to help as an MC. It'd be good if I got 82 rank so I could fit in like a 4 star and a 3 star. Okay, there's an explanation for my team names. Look. So this uh, lambda symbol, or upside down L, uh, it's essentially upper limit, or, you know, min-max. It's the maximum amount you get for the particular resource here. Uh, this... I forgot what the symbol is. <laughs> uh, this symbol is S, it just means seed. This row symbol means row for R, which is rank. And then the third priority would be cash. Uh, the priority here is, you know, it's the upper quests for the event drop and then rank EXP and then ally points. So on and so forth. It's not that difficult. Ditch coin cat or time efficiency, to be honest. Uh, I mean... I don't know. I think I would value the coin more than the card EXP at that point. It's just more about making sure the card EXP is completely wasted by leveling someone. Why not use a regular S? Does it have to be fancy? No, I think I'm using the... What's it called? I, I want to use, like, these symbols to clarify they represent something and they're not just something else. Uh, I think I was using S for something here at some point, but I forgot what. Oh well, it, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Gotta be thematic. Anyway, let's go back and level up our units with the taxi. Exponential team names? Oh, that... Uh, yeah, that was just a reformatting for my cohort teams. Uh, it's a bit complicated, but essentially, you see this zero symbol. It essentially means there are... In this team setup, there are no card EXP boosters or no 5-star card EXP boosters. This single cross here, you know, so one intersection means there's one 5-star card EXP booster. And over here, there's two. So this one as well as this one. And uh, the numbers here represent uh, this is this first group here is five star. <laughs> uh, up to like limit break three. And uh, it, it, it makes sense for me. But essentially it's it's corresponding to the amount of units you bring for each limit break stage. So this is for limit break uh, stage one and you bring what's called three units. 
F, this is uh, the second limit breaks regulation, so you can bring two units, so on and so forth. It's a lot of information. I don't want to refer to my chart uh, constantly, so in this way I, I can just play the game without having to have another document open. Oh yeah, if you ever doubted that I care about min-maxing in any sense, then <laughs> just remember I'm the guy with those weird team names. Right, one of these days he'll use this here, so probably not, even though he's actually strong. Uh, who else? But damage! Uh... Oh, okay. well. Does he really work on Cuggards? I don't really want to, but he does technically have nourishment, doesn't he? Alright, let's see this fucking crash. Nourishment to others, not to himself. Do I have any incentive to buff him? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> the most compelled men in the game to us. So true. Uh, you who just uses teams like C team, coin team, events 1 2. I mean, that's functionally what my teams are. It's just that it gives slightly more information. But I, but I do have a C team and I do have a coin team. Just condense it down. Alright. Uh, does this guy have any amps on his 3 star that makes him worth it? on square left and right. Does he not have it on himself? That's really sad. What can't? Uh, this guy should have something, I think. Yeah, he has brawn himself. <laughs> Taxi nausea. Okay, I'll work on her after, or them. Uh, I'll work on Shuten first, so. Really scraping the bottom of the barrel here now. I guess I didn't, yeah. Let us go ahead and pop some attacks. Also. Soon to be the most powerful nudge in the whole game. Drop. for the two cents I'll be saving from this. Blossoming. It's time to attack Blossom Gabriel because I actually use her a lot. <laughs> Gabriel's good. I'll just hate. All right, let's make our farm. Uh, going down to 53 drinks this time. This might be the last batch, honestly, because it's already like Dribble apologies. It's healing amplification. Isn't that fancy? And also guaranteed blessing <laughs> in this blessing meta age we live in. So true. Oh, let's not use the same things. Please not this. There you go.
Been running out of units that you actually care about to try to see. This is where starts in Ikea while working on something a Hester. I like how you say that as if you are applying Ikea's fashion. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I stopped caring about attacks in the units uh, ages ago. Or rather, I stopped ha having units to care about to attack seed, so it's just up at the end, just in case. Uh, they ever and also prioritizing units I use for demonstration. <laughs> okay, we all did better than Max Big Bit on the last chance game. Facts! This guy's pulling out the receipts. But the records show that an unseated Gabriel あ、ファリーインベスト。引きずり込まれ、ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬ。引きずり込まれ、ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬ。引きずり込まれ、ガチで、ガチで決めるぜ。俺から離れぬ
さあ次は大量引きずり込まれガチでガチで決めるぜうーん I don't have any snacks damn it I need to restock 俺から離れ引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずり引きずと一緒だと笑いが止まらんぜさあ次はど大量引きずり込まれガチでガチで決めるぜ俺から離れぬように引きずり込まれ引きずり込まれ But just a reminder, this campaign is going to last for two weeks. Uh, there is no rush to do everything today. And it's not like a half stamina daily campaign where you only like two weekends until today. You have 14 days to use all your drinks or do whatever. Or not even like that. That's your thing. I mean, might as well since apparently your streak will no longer be broken. と一緒だと笑いが止まらんぜさあ次大量引きずり込まれ So what I plan to do is I'll probably just do some rough up or like a、uh, estimate on 引きずり込まれ How many strengths I need to use every day across like 13 days I mean I'll probably also stream one more time next week but maybe not Not decided yet. The only new thing coming next week is just gonna be the second banner, so. It's just gonna be streaming more, but. It's not like a grind stream really need a specific thing to come out. It just needs camping gear, and that's it. I don't know, it depends on how you go. I haven't been feeling too good lately, to be honest. Or maybe not. ガチで決めるぜ俺から離れ揺れぬ引きずり相手ひとしくしずむ I've been feeling kind of bloody just like that 俺から揺れぬ Not really Technically motivated to get on the way、ね、ガチで,ガチで<笑> Just solve for how much coin you're gonna need for the last five level seeds on Horkyu and Ben 10 And it's nearly a hundred million coins. That is not surprising. <laughs> uh, just put it into perspective, though. I know it seems like a lot.、Um, the best way you can put it into perspective, though, is that don't, you, don't try to level seed them all instantly.、Uh, instead, just level seed them in the exact same speed that you'll be leveling the unit. There's no reason to level seed them instantly if you're not going to level. Instantly, right? And if you're just slowly bringing them in dungeons, then you might as well level see them to that speed as well. And if you're going by that speed, then you, I'm sure you'll、um, make close to enough coin just from passive gameplay at that point to compensate for it. I still need to do a bit of farming like right now for these things. But,、um, either way, you should be using all your money during this campaign if、uh, you don't want to worry about、uh, scarcity. Some people are crazy though. They have like already four level seated units that are at level 90.、Like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> More power to you, I guess. But the thing is, if you do that, you are missing out on leveling your favorite unit in the dungeon, right? The only thing you're doing is, you know, getting the top place on your farm list in general. But look at me in the face, look me in the eyes. Is your unit actually good for farming? Like, let's be real here. No one's gonna pick a level 90 unit after, like, fucking. What's called? Ben 10 or something. <laughs> Who, you know. Can only bring like the C booster and is like <laughs> so in reality, you know, you don't need to worry about that big number too much, and、um, 
There's no rush to like level seed all your units to level 90 instantly. There's no reason unless you're actually doing it for hardcore wars. And even then, the only real practical unit is gonna be like Anbari in terms of get getting the best from ally points. But otherwise, you know, I don't need my units to be level 90 instantly to show off to everyone. You know, it's just a bond, a pack they make with my husband does. I don't need to prove anything to anyone else. And I get to play with them longer in Dutch, that's an important thing. The projected cost for your next 15 LP puts you at 90 million uh, coin debt. Um, well, you better use all your drinks now. I can see why you decided to bring some coin boosters for this event. Although, I mean, I guess... I don't know, I feel like... Your calculations, or at least your penetrations, are, are kind of wishy-washy. <laughs> That's like you, you value coin, but you don't want to you know, get nothing else in return, so you decide to farm for coin and free quests rather than daily quests. I can understand reasoning for that, but then it's like you bring coin boosters instead of seed boosters and blossom boosters uh, in your team. I'm like, I don't know, out of all the mentors and min in this game, I feel like yours is perhaps the sloppiest in my opinion. I mean, if you're seeding optimal right now, you'd finish uh, level seeding creator and like... Yes, that would be optimal just for the boosts in the uh, damage board wide. And the thing is, that's fine, right? To If you want to rush working on one or two units. Because... What's it called? It makes sense you want to get it out as fast as possible to, or, to get those ally points before everyone else. Um, but that's just one or two units, right? You, it's not going to be too bad if it's just one or two units instantly, but if the problem becomes when you start like, oh, I have to level seed all ten more billion of my boyfriends, and <laughs> I gotta do it now! <laughs> Even though I have zero coin. <laughs> That's when the problem starts arising, like, you need to make a compromise on our end. If you're gonna level seed all your favorites, then you have to take a slow route. The only could go in depth about your reasoning, but you're rather not to it and you can clear that chat window. That is fair enough. You definitely need your custom emojis to fully express yourself in the Discord. And for me, based on the title DC, my main priority is rank EXP, so even though I could like bring some other mixture thing like the Guildmaster AR, which boosts both, ref, both rank EXP and uh, ally points, instead I just, you know, double dip on like a half boost on rank EXP because uh, that's what I value from this. And that's what I see as the most optimal. Like, get the most out of the most prominent resource, and then, you know, the second most out of the second most prominent resource, and so far. That reasoning makes sense to me. You're already fully level seated in your favorite Pokemon. Oh, well, yeah, I vaguely remember that. If that's the case, and you're already level seated, whatever you do, if you care about ally points, anyways, you're. You know, the units that would be good on support. Well, what, is, what is the rush about level seeding the other units? There's no rush. Don't you want to play with them in dungeons for months on end? Do you really want to just like toss them in support list and never touch them again? <laughs> like, enjoy your time with them. Take it slow. No one else is going to use your support anyways, even if you're level 90. <laughs> don't delude yourself. <laughs> so, you're not doing anyone else's favor by getting them to level 90 faster. <laughs> Right. Even though I disagree with Irby's uh, stance on prioritizing card use, I do see his point, and in very least, he's optimizing for something, right? Not even if the resources themselves are something that's just based on personal preference at this point. But like Harvey's is kind of like, I'm gonna do a bit of everything, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, sure, okay, you do you. <laughs> By the way, um, we are past the 6 o'clock mark. I'm just gonna be stopping this the moment I have only, uh, what's called drinks left. 53. And, you know, I'm asking if want to use more drinks. <laughs> I'm just hoping with my two level 9 units. I mean, Anvari and also Anvari. Anvari is my only level 9 unit, you know. <laughs> 
Zeroing is a plus level 90 seated, but he's not actually at level 90 yet. And Boogeyman also, but he obviously is not uh, at level 90 either. It's literally just invite, so I am following what I preach here. I am taking it slow, and I'm enjoying it with my time with Zhirong, and easy clears with both Zhirong as well as with uh, Block and even. He actually used Ben 10 all the time in Challenge Quest now, thanks to pulling both of the Blessed 5 Star Arrows last year. And That's all well good, but have you heard of Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, real though. Okay, that's it for this. Uh, let's go ahead and use our seeds. I don't even remember who I worked on today, so hopefully the future me will take care of a uh, fucking which unit side level seeded. Or attack seed, rather. I'd be like, enjoy the journey. <laughs> With my face being Oguchi intense. <laughs> yes, he should. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, I'm sure one of them will be better than, like, some other mentor option, right? Like, it, in an all mentor run, what are your options gonna be, really? Um, it's gonna be fucking obligatory support Triton. Or maybe a, a Ching Long. And you don't even have dead, so I'm not even. I'm not even gonna talk about dead. Um. Then Chrismic is actually good as a mentor, and then there's like the other one is kind of trash no matter what you pick. <laughs> um, maybe Ching Long again, if, or you know Triton again. Oh, Triton sucks. So at that point, you definitely have room for at least uh, one unit that would be better than one mentor that's left over. The only really good ones is Dead and Chrismic, um, and you know arguably Ching Long. Triton sucks though. <laughs> At the very least, you can start synergizing some things like, uh, what's it called? Tianzin's best thing is being a dynamic uh, unit, right? He's not really great at anything, but his best feature is being able to do a bit of everything. In that sense, he's kind of very well suited towards dungeons, even if he's kind of mid at blowing everything up and mid at defending. The point is he can do a bit of everything. Meanwhile, with Oguchi, I mean, like, sword dungeon, he's gonna be hit a ton there. Easy peasy. <laughs> Triton does not suck unless it's target as <laughs> you. Of course, of course. Well, I guess that means that uh, he sucks for you. You heard it here. The Triton Stan himself said that Triton sucks. Alright. Um, who should I work on next? Should I work on Naja, really? I guess so. Uh... They technically have damage amps, I guess that's fine. Let's toss in our blossom somewhere else. I'm not twisting your words, I'm correcting your uh, misunderstandings for the audience, who may be misinformed by your misinformation. Okay, Ara, but what about uh, when you get to finishing Q Moon? On arrival! Oppression? <laughs> uh, that's uh, uh, Kimon was uh, is actually getting difficult. I don't know. Um, maybe throw them back and hopefully they appear in the victory screen after. <laughs> He's probably better than like whatever other choice he can bring. Like, is he better than Triton? On like on even terms, I guess. Maybe slightly better. At least he has like a. He's kind of like um, Tianzin, but without the mobility, because he does a bit of everything between. Damage and uh, healing and defense. So I guess he'd be good for like uh, that dungeon, the recent uh, Toji one, because it is kind of like not as much damage as other dungeons, but also not too many debuffs either. That's one thing he doesn't have debuff mitigation really. Like teens in but worse. <laughs> exactly. So that's why you should level both of them. <laughs> So you want to like, you should probably work on Tianzin first, and all those months of experiences of leveling him uh, in, the, in the hyperbolic time chamber will prepare you for le leveling up Kima. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's all coming together. All according to Kate Gaku. <laughs> Tell you what I'm working on next. Um, better. Let's toss it in Pita instead. Pita is great. And we will toss these attack seeds or blossoms on some random fuck no. Or random fucking take it, I guess. Purple chun. Nice ending song. Switch map. Or rather, where are we going? Home screen, please. Very fancy art. And we all go to options instead of the go just to review our items. So, uh, we are finishing off the stream with 33 million coin. And uh, no miners and 53 majors. This is a note for me later. Uh, see my progress, even though I was completely distracted. Oh, drawing jump scare. <laughs> um, I guess it's fine on the screen. So, 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 that's it for the stream. Thank you for joining everyone. Whether you watched the entire thing or just hopped in for a short bit, uh, glad you guys kept me company. Hopefully for those that were joining in, you got a good amount of progress done too. Um, and for those that are deciding to pull this banner, good luck with that, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, this campaign, this UI update, it's on, like, it's pretty bad, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's not bad, but it's also not as exciting as I thought it would be. I thought it would feel flashier, but I think it's just the lack of animations to really complete it. And also the sound effects sound pretty generic between clicking and all that. It doesn't really have that juicy, like, sound identity. Like, you know this clicking sound here? It's like, what is that? It's a very generic phone dial sound. <laughs> It'd be nice if uh, they added to actually, uh, you know, some more curated effects for Hussar, because that sounds like, you know, the used stuff. It'd be nice to give this... It, this is a good starting point, but there's definitely more room to give it more of an identity uh, that's uh, visually leaving an impact. But yeah, uh, I think that's it. I'm kind of meandering. Uh, so there will be no stream tomorrow or anything like that. The next stream probably will just be on... Uh, the next Monday. I, Monday's a bad day, but it's that's just when the banner... I, you know what, there's no reason I need to wait for the banner. I'll just probably just do it on Friday or Saturday then. So, uh, Friday or Sunday's stream, look forward to that. Maybe, honestly, I don't feel like it, which is a good chance. And if not, then, you know, click on this by yourself. Um, again, it's a free quests are half stamina, and the main quests are quarter stamina. If you're not covered for that for some reason, it's the perfect time to do it now. The reason they do these quarter stamina things for the main quest is because that's usually what they do directly before they release the main quest thing. It's a good sign that they are on schedule to release New Semester as well as Chapter 15. Which is the exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you for joining everyone, um, and take care. Hope you guys... I don't think I was having points. Bye guys. <laughs> good luck with your tunes, Jen Harvey, and I'll talk to you... Whoever's tracking behind in the Discord. Later.